Hello again, this is Mike Cochran with uh, Value Function Analytics. And today we're going to talk about a different kind of prioritization method. I call it the rank aggregation method. This is something that's not in the literature because it's something that I came up with myself. Um, and the reason for it is that quite a lot of the time uh, in um, the environment in which I work, we have to um, take um, input from a number of different groups that provide scores uh, on a list of items. And um, this is a method for aggregating those scores uh, so that we can have a useful prioritization. I'm going to switch to um, the um, spreadsheet and I'm going to show you um, the prioritization that uh, was arrived at um, by a group uh, before um, I was brought in to uh, help them with the prioritization. And you can see that um, we've got 34 items, and in the green columns are the, the various groups that provided scores, and the scores ranged from 1 to 5, and the scores are all captured in this side of the table. What they did was, uh, in column D, which is highlighted in yellow, is they averaged those scores, very much like uh, Amazon.com averages the stars, the star ratings that you give a product or a book or a video. and uh, it may come up with like three and a half stars for something. Um, but this actually is uh, doesn't provide a lot of real valuable information because what we're dealing with in these one to five scores is ordinal rankings, not ratio rankings. So you really can't tell how much more important something is than another. Uh, and the other factor is when you average ordinal scores, you tend to clip off the extremes. So um, you may have several people uh, give a score of one, Several people give it a five, and it may end up get, getting a score of like two and a half. But does that really mean anything? Because it's more valuable information to know that uh, a number of people actually scored it as their number one priority um, or their number five priority. So the rank aggregation method is a way to use the power of spreadsheets to um, help us do a sort that makes sense based on uh, what seems to be really important to a number of people in, in the group. So what I did was... Uh, in the second spreadsheet, the one that you're looking at now, uh, I added um, five columns here on the right-hand side. Um, a column for each of the scores, so a column for all the ones, a column for all the twos, the threes, and so forth. And um, what, what we do in the rank aggregation method is basically conduct a sort based on the number of scores. So here in column, or rather in this first row, you can see that, um, and I'll take you up here to the menu bar, we use the count if function, which is found in Excel. And what that does, and we can, um, we're counting um, the number of times that we see a 1 in this row, E3 through Q3, and there happen to be 6. Over here in the 2s, we're counting the number of 2s, and there happen to be 3. And over here in column 3, there happen to be 1, 3, 1, 4, and 2 5s. So the way that we do this is we can go up onto the menu bar and go to data, then sort. And you can see that I've already um, I've selected the entire list to sort and said this is the order that I want to sort. I want to sort first on column one. So I'm interested to, to sort first on, on uh, those items that received a score of one and uh, based on the number of times they got that score. Then once that's done, it sorts on column two to uh, capture all the, 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 the number of twos, and then so forth then to the threes, the fours, and the fives. So what that does is take a look at this column, column R. You can see that um, uh, there were six uh, ones for the first item, three ones for the second, and three ones for the third. And over here in the twos, um, it got three twos, and then one two. So you can see it's sorting first on the ones and then on the twos. So the moment that it drops down to two ones for um, this fourth item in the list, um, then it's sorted on the number of twos, which were five, and then, and then uh, all the way down. So you can see that uh, this is giving greater weight to uh, those items that received a high number of ones and then a high number of twos. And then by the time it gets down to the fives, it probably really doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but uh, it's really trying to focus on what got the most priority. 
So you may be asking yourself, well, um, what, what's the difference in the sort between the original prioritization, which was based on averages, and the rank aggregation sort? Well, we've done a comparison. In this table, you can see on the left-hand side, here's the original sort, and we've got an index number associated with the original sort. So when we do um, we plug in the resorting, the index numbers are all uh, jumbled around, but that what that does is it helps us compute the position change. So notice that the very first item was clearly the prioritization uh, number one for both methods because the, the position didn't change at all. But you can see down here that there was a, a number 19, which means that this item, macro capability for TMT, um, was originally uh, ranked at number 28 and now it's moved up to number 9. So that's an increase in uh, position of 19. So we um, took this and then sorted it so that we can see that um, uh, we sorted it based on position change. So here's number 19 as the uh, moving up 19 spaces all the way down to this one, force module creation management and prioritization, moved down 15 places. So there are a few significant outliers, but notice what happens in the middle here. Most of the items being prioritized didn't change more than one or two places. Uh, it really was only the outliers that made significant um, place changes, and that adds valuable information for the group to know because uh, in, oftentimes uh, a position change uh, of that magnitude means that there was um, one person uh, who maybe scored it very low while a number of other people scored it very high and it brought its, uh, its, its average down. So, you know, you lose information when you, uh, when you average these kinds of scores. The rank aggregation method allows you to retain that information and you can feed that back to the groups to help them um, come to a re realization of what really is important. Now, one other thing I want to touch on here, and that is, do we really need five numbers to score these things. Um, so I tried this with a three position ranking uh, where the top priority was one, the bottom priority was three, and the middle priority was two. Very simple to implement, very simple for people to quickly score an item based on a one, two, or a three. Or you could use an A, uh, a B, or a C, or if you're thinking of like grading papers, an A, a C, and an F. Uh, something along those lines. It doesn't really matter because um, the count if function will count whatever you put in there, whether it's a letter or a number. Um, and this is the sort that we got using uh, the one to three method. The way I converted it was any score that was a three or a higher, three, four, or five, I just called that a three. Now in uh, comparing these two, I did a simple correlation matrix which you can see here, and we've got the five position sort uh, here on the um, left hand column and then the three position sort, and we did a correlation. And you can see by the, the trend line that there's a very strong correlation between these two, and in fact it is 0.94, that's the R value for the correlation. So this tells me that um, you can get a very useful sort out of the rank aggregation method with only three scores rather than having to resort to five. So this makes it very easy to implement and very easy for people to, uh, to understand. So um, the rank aggregation method um, is, we already did the Excel demo, um, next time we'll talk about some hybrid methods that might use a combination of things like uh, rank aggregation and the more traditional uh, prioritization methods that we've talked about up to this point. But if you have any questions about rank aggregation or prioritization in general, uh, please feel free to email me at valuefunction at gmail.com.